Now, there was a lot of mumbling in that, but what he, what he basically said was, well, he was asked, when you come back to England, is there a bit of you that really wants to impress? And then he said, I don't know. You'll have to ask Chelsea with a little bit of quiet mumbling just like this because he didn't want to say too much. But yeah, he did say that. Unpredictable. The most unpredictable brother going. One minute he's flirting with Milan. Then he's bigging up the Saudi league. Then he's speaking about Roma. Now he's quietly trying to see what Chelsea's on. Um, do you really think bro wants to come back? I think he's assessing his options. I don't think it's a case like Chelsea. I, I I really want to come back. It's like I think he wants to see what the summer's saying. That's what I think he wants. Like Lukaku is calculated in terms of what he says and does. He is a he is a massive dickhead. Like to say it nicely, when he says stuff like what he said in the big interview about Inter Milan, he knows what he's doing for the most part. I feel like he's trying to throw a little hint out there. Trying to say the ball is in our court and it's a bit of a question of, do you want me back? Now, it's nothing definitive. Nothing is set in stone, except Lukaku is probably returning to Chelsea unless Roma can pay £37 million, which I think is the release clause. If he does, If Roma can't pay that, then I don't really know what the plan is unless he does want to go to Saudi. If it's not Saudi, he might end up just being stuck here because I, I don't know what else we could do with him. Actually, tell a lie. I've been saying for a while, push us to number one for the Oshimen deal and send Lukaku the other way. Be like, hey, you need a striker. You're going to lose Oshimen. Here is an experienced Serie A forward. Bagged hella goals in that league. I'm sure he's got over 100 in that league. There you go. Have him. On us. On us. Friend to friend and all of that. Well, it being the Laurinaitis, I won't really say friend, but... There you go. Now push us to number one for Oshiman. Yeah, man, pimp him out. Like, he's an, he's, an, he's an Italy whore anyway. Let him complete his tour. He's been in Milan. He's been in Rome. Now send them off to Naples. Send them off to Naples. But in terms of the big question, would you bring Lukaku back? My answer is I want every other available option except Lukaku. Now, if we don't get ev any of those options, crap. Crap. We might have to bite the bullet. We might. But that's if we don't get an Oshiman, we don't get Tony, we don't get Jokeres, or any other striker that you have in your heads, we don't get them either. And we're thinking, crap, we need a bagsman. We need somebody who's going to score goals. We need somebody with a bit of experience. The big E word. Now, if that's the case, well, we might have to do it. And I hate to say it. I, it, it, this, it makes me sick even the thought of it. But if we don't get any of those other options, you might have to firm it. You might have to firm it. Now, we do have time. We do have time. Like, Lukaku's going to the Euros, so you're not going to have anything to do, to do with him until mid-July. With his holidays as well, depending on when Belgium get knocked out, you probably don't see him back in Cobham until maybe even late July depending on whenever Belgium get knocked out. I don't know who's in their group. In fact, can I check who's in their group? Because that definitely ain't the same Belgium team. they got Slovakia, Romania, Ukraine. I mean, they should get out of the group. They should get out of the group. Um, how do you know Oshiman wants PSG? There's been some links on, on Oshiman to PSG. Apparently, it's his dream, even though he's literally said he dreams of going to the Premier League. But okay, okay, sure. I don't know. Like, the, Lukaku, I think, is just assessing all of his options. Ivan Tony is seeming, is looking like nobody wants to go near him. So that might be another option, too. 
hell, I'd, I'd send Lukaku off to Brentford if we could and get Tony. If that works, then perfect. But we have to see. We have to see. If he wants to, if he wants to come back to Chelsea and make it work, and we can't get any other strikers, I'm fine with it. Let me ask you guys that question. I'm not going to ask you if you want to see Lukaku back because we're on the on the same page with that. No, if we can't get any of our striker options in the summer, would you firm Lukaku coming back for another season? Just yes or no in the chat. Yes or no in the chat. Let me know. Jester says there's no can't miss striker on the market. Kind of hear it. There's no one that really goes, wow, bring him, bring him in now. It's just we need somebody who's a bit more clinical. Bit more clinical. So what are we saying? Nope. 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 Yes. No. Yes. No. 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 Yes. Yes. Big yes. Nah. Yes. Majorities are saying no. No, yes. I said, you guys never learn. Lakaka just isn't a horrible player. He's also toxic and will create more turmoil. Can't argue that down. Can't argue that down. The, the only thing I could say to argue against it is Tuchel's gone. And, they had, and that big fallout was what caused everything else. But hey, who's to say he doesn't fall out with the next manager? So I don't know. I also feel like bringing in Lukaku because we're that we're that desperate would also feed into his ego so much. Like he would walk in here thinking, "I'm the king now. I'm the king of Stamford Bridge. I won you the Club World Cup." Because I know this fan base loves to use that narrative. If you know, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Yo, I hope we buy a striker this summer. I hope we buy a striker this summer, please. Fucking please. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Chloe, I get that to a point as well. Like, if he comes and bags goals, nobody's going to care. But Lukaku would have to bag goals immediately. He would have to score immediately. Because if he doesn't, it's long. Fans will be on his ass pause from the start he will not be allowed to have a bad run of form at Chelsea and plus his first goal celebration will still have to do the old I'm sorry I'm sorry and all of that just just to pan to us a little bit trust him more than spending loads on a new striker I'll be so real I couldn't I don't trust him as far as I could throw him I don't trust Lukaku at all this would have to be a circumstance have to be a circumstance it would need to be a situation of i have nothing left so yeah lukaku you're not going anywhere because we need a striker and we haven't got a striker so you're stuck here is why it is hold that figure it out that's the only way i would be okay with him coming pause brazy pause but yeah other than that no, get me another striker, please. 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 Could we just bin off Sterling? Could we just bin him off? I wanna be too bad. I said this isn't black excellence, this is just blacked. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's another if you know you know. That is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, but you know what, Lewis? And no, for me, we're tired of struggling for a number nine. I hear it. I hear it. Who's better as a player, Oshman or Lukaku? Defo Oshman. Much less clunky. Quicker. I think we'll say a, probably a better finisher too. I think Lukaku's only got the physical edge on him. That's about it. Oshiman is way more mobile. Way more. But yeah, that, that is going to do the rounds again. So don't be too shocked if we end up talking about Lukaku potentially coming back to Chelsea again. Because that will continue to do the rounds. And Lukaku knows we're desperate. 
he knows we're desperate. So I, I guess we have to see, but uh, we need a striker this summer. That's the one thing we can all agree on. That's it. In terms of Lukaku, I don't know. Let me drop a quick poll before I move on to the next topic. 